Hello there again. This is Everett Johnston, your friendly plumber. What an exciting day we're going to have. We're going to go through a chapter in this book real quick. It's on page 66 and basically it discusses more in depth about how to clean drains. Now isn't that exciting? All right, let's start with our number one item. You have a small plunger. See that? This small plunger here is used like on service sinks and small things you may have in your house not even necessary lavatories you could try it you know a lot of times i like to heat it first with some hot water and then plunge it okay so that's one way to unclogging drains now you have what they call another plunger this is a longer one that way you can get some force on it boom 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 same thing i like to heat it with some hot water kind of get a good suction and unplug those hairs and those drains and the kitchen sinks and all that fun stuff. Isn't that exciting? Now, what you got here is a colorful plunger. See how these are all flat like that? These are for sinks, these are for, um, oh, just that, not your toilets, but not your pedes, anything with, you know, little smaller things like lavatories and bathtubs, these all work if you get a good suction. Now they'll work to a point. My book in page 66 discusses much more in depth for you commercial maintenance plumbers. Now you have a toilet auger. See this? I don't call it, it's not a toilet auger, it's a toilet plunger. Same thing, I like to get a little warm first. You know, this is a longer one. You can get a good grip. Oh, 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 oh. And not get it on your, you know, you don't want to get this stuff on your face because that's like called shit. You know, so wear a face mask sometimes, wear a glove, just protect yourself because, oh, you don't want shit all over you. That's no fun. And the last but not least, least item that I like the best is what they call a toilet auger. See this auger here? This is, goes down into the toilet and you can go down through the trap and down into it. You get all those little things your children left in there, little cars and trucks, and oh, they threw the book down. No, they're playing with their poop. They threw their diaper down. All these things that don't belong in a toilet, this will normally take it out. I have found so much stuff. I'll just talk about paraphernalia, drug paraphernalia. I have found underwear. I have found bras. I have found um, contraceptives. You name it, you will find it, depending upon what building you're working on. It's kind of hilarious, but, you know, that's, that's Mother Nature, and uh, that's life, and that's what's being a plumber. Now, that's not the best job or the juiciest job out there, but it has to be done, and somebody has to do it. And that's what a maintenance plumber does. If you work new commercial, if you work a lot of this stuff, you'll never touch a plunger. Very, I mean... I, you know, I just, I never did almost, I think in 10 years, I never touched a plunger. I never really even used this, uh, maybe a couple times, a sewer auger and snakes. But that's what my book gets into. It starts talking into more depth about things that you need to use on a commercial side. If you're a homeowner and you're, you know, these are all you want to use. And if the plungers don't work, just take the P-trap off if you can, except for the bathtub. That's the only little one. You got to go through the overflow and try to, you know, you can use a wire hanger or something, go through the overflow and pull out the hair. If you can't, just take the drain assembly, the cover. You know, there's a cover on top that's supposed to keep the hair out. That's what plugs up your bathtubs is hair. Lots of hair. That's it. Your toilets, whoo, could be anything. It's scary. You start getting into a toilet, and man, I've had a pool toilet, so I found seashells. I have found, I mean, I just get into all kinds of crap there when you get into maintenance. So, you know, you're warmer in the maintenance, but you have to do it a little dirty sometimes. So, you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget this book now, Amazon.com. If you want to, it's a good Christmas gift for your husband or for your loved one who's thinking about doing maintenance plumbing. Yeah, it's $24.99, but the thing that he or she will learn is very valuable. Just, just, you know, just a few things. So you don't need many to make it valuable for you, you know. I've bought many, many books 
out there, not just from the union and from other books. I've just bought books like basic plumbing just to see what they got in them. And you know, I've always learned one or two items from one of those books. You know, you always learn one or two items that you never thought about in one of the books. So you're always gonna learn something. Now, yes, it's more technical. This one's a little bit more technical because it's more for, for advanced maintenance. But anyway, see you later till the next video. Make it safe, be smart, take care of your family, be honest and true to yourself and others. Bye.